I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody, I want to talk about something I think is really important that needs to be discussed. Um, this has to do with Facebook. So, in the past year, at least two of my friends' accounts have been compromised. And what I mean by that is a hacker has taken over the account. They changed the name of the account. They changed um, the profile picture of the account. They changed a bunch of different things. So the hacker took over the account. Uh, once the account was compromised, they uh, changed the email address to their email address, changed the password, changed the uh, phone number associated with the account. So that way, it helps ensure that the legit owner of the account can't recover it. And in both cases, as I mentioned, the person's display name got changed. And in both times, it was changed from a, a male to a female. Yeah, so they changed the the person's name. They also changed the uh, gender, all that good stuff. They, they, they changed everything. And in both cases, uh, the legit owners of the account were totally locked out of the account. They could not access it at all. They couldn't recover or anything. And this is going to be kind of both an advisory as well as a little bit of a rant about Facebook. Um, of course, the thing is, Facebook, while I don't understand is how they can have all these different tools in place um, where you can actually check and see if your account is being accessed from a unrecognized device and I mean all the security features they have on the account yet time and time again I've seen accounts get totally compromised you know, where the per where the hacker gains access to the account they changed the email address, they changed the cell phone number as the uh, account recovery number, they changed the password, again, changed everything. And yet the legit owner, when they go to facebook.com forward slash hacked and try to recover their account, because all of those details were just changed, you know, again, the name, the email address, the password, and the phone number associated with the account. All that stuff was changed. Basically, it rendered Facebook's default recovery options useless. And it seems that in both cases, when Facebook, or excuse me, when the hacker took over the account, Facebook soon later just shut down the account. Um, that happened last night um, with one of my friends who got compromised and I happened to have his phone number so I was able to get in touch with him about it and of course he told me that he's tried everything he could he asked me what I what I suggested and I basically told him about the uh, link to go to facebook.com slash hacked but he said he's tried that he's tried everything and this is what kills me is Facebook um, for a user they happen to they happen to know the devices you normally use to access the account, whether it be through a Facebook app on your phone or a desktop computer. They know the devices and they tend to trust the devices. And what gets me is they have all these algorithms about. I'm not going to get too deep into to this, but they have all these algorithms about you know, fact checking posts and monitoring. I mean, the thing is, you go on Facebook. And look at your activity log. It has a log of everything you do, from typing a comment to liking a post to following a page. You name it, it has it all. And what gets me is how, why in the world can there, there, there how is it, how is it still possible today that with all of this? AI that Facebook has, how can it not become suspicious when an account name gets changed, the backup phone number gets changed, the password gets changed, the person's name gets changed, 
their sex has changed from male to female. I mean, all that stuff at once. How in the world does Facebook's system not pick that up? And why is it that a hacker can compromise an account and change all this stuff and literally lock the person, the, the rightful owner, out of the account to the point where Facebook's um, recovery tools are just useless? How is that possible? Why is Facebook not addressing this? Now, the truth is there are ways you can harden the security on your account. Um, and I'll talk about that before I end this video. But how is it possible that their system, it, it allows this to happen? Now, to be honest with this account I was talking about that happened, that got, got, got compromised last night. Um, Facebook shut it down effectively this morning, I do think, because I tried to access it and it said this uh, link is unavailable or whatever. Um, I'm not even sure if it was because of the account getting hacked or if it was because of the pornographic image that was posted on the cover photo of the page. Yeah, I have to wonder if that's maybe what caused it to get taken down. See, I don't know. And meanwhile, again, I've been in contact with the rightful owner of the account and they said they, they, they've exhausted all their options of trying to recover the account. And last year, another one of my friends' accounts got hacked. Um, it was an older guy and uh, the hacker um, gained access to an account in some way or fashion, changed the name to a different name, posted a profile picture of a young girl, changed the gender from male to female. I mean, changed everything. And it's like, how does Facebook's AI let this happen? They got all, they got all this smart technology, but yet someone can still, to this day in 2022, compromise an account to that degree and effectively lock the person out of their account. It's ridiculous, guys. It really is. It's, it, it is super ridiculous. Therefore, um, to wrap this up, I do want to talk about um, ways you can help harden the security of your account. First and foremost, um, even though I just mentioned that you know the person's phone number got changed on their account, I do still recommend using a uh, using your cell phone number as a, as a means of like recovery, um, because sometimes it does work. Um, but most importantly, and I say this is very important, um, consider using two-factor authentication on your Facebook account. Um, one of the ways you can do that is uh, use a third-party um, app like Duo Authentication. Um, Facebook does work with that, and that's what I happen to use. So the thing is, if someone tries to compromise my account, what would happen is they will be asked to enter a code. And no, this is not the one that, and, and this is not the one um, that you get texted the code. You actually have to have a physical device with Duo installed and set up, and you basically go into the app and you um, ask it to generate a code and you enter that code in from Duo. It's very secure, but the thing is, um, if you lose, if something really bad happens to like your mobile device, um, perhaps you could get locked out. I'm not 100 certain on that, um, but actually, I have multiple accounts that are that are um, secured through Duo. Um, I think it's a really good way to harden access to your account because think about it: not only are you protecting yourself and your personal information that you may have on Facebook, but you're also protecting the personal interests of your friends. Because, of course, your friends, when, of course, they're friends with you on Facebook, um, they may have things that are, uh, of course, shared to friends only. So that's probably one reason why these accounts get compromised is for is for, is for hackers to gain access to other people's personal information. And also, in addition to the uh, 2FA, uh, two-factor authentication, um, be very wary of scams. Um, sometimes you may have a friend's account who gets compromised, and 
this hacker doesn't actually go in as far as to change the name, the gender, um, and the uh, contact information uh, yeah, and recovery information of the account. But what they'll do is you know, compromise the account and then they'll send out a message to a bunch of their friends on that account saying something like, um, Facebook need like I need to add you to my trusted contacts. I've gotten one of those before. I need to add you to my trusted contacts. Um, can you provide me your cell phone number? And if you provide them your cell phone number, what they do is they go into Facebook's account recovery, probably on a different browser. Um, they type in the, like I guess I guess it's just your phone number. And what happens is they uh, they probably have your your email address um, at that point that's one that's the first thing that you have to log into a Facebook account is the email address and then you, you're looking for the password so what they do is they set up this um, this this little scam and they send you a, uh, a code or excuse me they, they what they do is they ask for your phone number so that way they can, on, on their end they can go into Facebook's account recovery type your phone number in and have it send you a text and then what they'll do is they'll ask you for the code and even though, and see the thing is, um, the text message will say account recovery, but sometimes people don't pay attention and they just, they hand over that code and bam, that person now has access to your account because they just reset your password and changed it on you. Um, I had this happen to a friend earlier this year. And again, this is another friend that I had alternative means of contact with, um, had their, I had, um, had their email address. So I was successfully able to help them recover their account, but guys, just be careful with Facebook. Um, I do suggest using 2FA, two-factor authentication, and I think Facebook does have its own version of 2FA, um, but you can use a third-party app like Duo as well. Um, but again, it's, this is what, what gets me is Facebook these days, with all of this AI that they have, artificial intelligence, if you know what that, that stood for, um, they have all this AI, but yet someone can still take over an account and make all these changes at once, but yet their system doesn't seem to flag it as suspicious. Personally, I think that um, if, if their system, if it flags anything suspicious, it should, uh, again, lock out the account, but then send an email and a text message to the previous contact info that was associated with that account because I mean that that's just it right now these hackers are successfully able to change this info and then Facebook's recovery stuff just seems it just seems to no longer work again I've had two accounts two, no, two of my friends accounts get compromised this way in the past year so Anyways, guys, I did, I did want to make this video. I um, felt that was kind of urgent to make. So anyways, um, hope this is helpful. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to your channel. And be sure to tick that bell so you get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget, I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. And also, in addition, I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support and thanks for watching this video.